If you want to have sex with multiple women, then go that route. If you want to have one woman and multiple women, go that route. If you only want one woman, then go that route. It must be realistic, and I would say, make it in a way where it's able to help you grow. I'm gonna risk losing you because if you believe that I'm having sex with multiple women right now, then you're wrong. I'm going to risk losing you as a subscriber if you believe that I only promote or you want me to promote only sleeping with multiple women. I'm going to lose you. I am. And to be honest, this is fine because this is the lifestyle that I truly want and I only promote the lifestyle that you want. I want you to be courageous enough to go after the lifestyle that you truly want with women. Because if you do, it will happen faster than you think. People have put into your mind that the ultimate lifestyle to have with women is having sex with multiple women all the time. Every day of the week, having somebody new or having multiple women that you can call upon whenever you want. You may even think that this is the ultimate lifestyle. And I'm not here to talk about you not wanting that. I'm here to talk about what you truly want. But before I get into that, I must tell you what's first projected as what's going to make you happy. I started off looking at the community and seeing that, okay, these guys, they're picking up women off the street, they're picking up women in the clubs, and they seem so happy. The lifestyle that they have seemed like this is the ultimate. That if I want to move from my place of frustration to happiness, then I need to get this lifestyle. This is the thing that's for me. Because it wasn't just one guy showing that. When you come into this community, every guy says or every guy shows you that the ultimate thing for you to really enjoy in life is having multiple women. The ultimate thing is that if you're out every single night and fucking different girls, that's the ultimate. If you are meeting women on the street, going on dates consistently and having sexual adventures, this is the ultimate. You start to believe because you're in a place of unhappiness that this is the, this is the way. Like I believed, I was like, you know what? Since I'm not right now happy with the way that I'm going with women, I better just go after this. Because I knew that I truly wanted to have multiple women, but I guess the way was every single night, trying to get to the level, the skill level, that I'm able to have sex with girls every night, or to the skill level where I'm able to have multiple dates and having sex with women all the time. This is what I was after. And I followed it. I really did. I was trying to do the things that I learned. I was trying to learn, you know, this new way of doing this and, you know, the way to deal with a, really, a girl who has attitude and the way it would, to deal with the girl who's in the group. And as I'm learning all these different things, I can feel that, yes, I want multiple women, but I don't want it in a way where I have to learn these different things as far as like these gimmicky ways. I don't want to have to learn these gimmicky things. I want to do it in a way that feels so real to the way that I want it to be. Yes, I want to be authentic. Yes, I want to say to a woman that I think you're beautiful or you look attractive to me. Yes, I want to do these things. But do I really, really have to learn it so intensely that I should be having sex with these amount of girls 
And if I'm not, then I'm not going to be happy. Does it really have to be like this? The community projects that this is the way to make yourself happy. If you're a man who's not having sex with women, then you need to learn this skill set so you become the man who's having women around him all the time. He's just like crowded with women. And then men start to believe that unless I have that, then I'm not where I should be. I'm not to the ultimate state of happiness with women. I'm not. And that's what I thought. Maybe I would be seeing one girl or seeing two girls and then I would go, you know what? I should be seeing about three to five girls because this one guy said that he's seeing three to five girls and he's out there every, all the time and having sex with new girls. Maybe if I just get to that third girl, maybe I, if I just have like a harem as he was saying at the time or I would see guys and they would be like, yeah, man, I had sex with this girl and, you know, fuck, it was like a crazy adventure. Or you would read some seduction book and you would be like, fuck, when can I get to the level where I can have sex with hundreds of girls like this? That was my dilemma I was going through. And in the midst of all that, I started to go, I have to be courageous and go, I don't have to follow that same track. I don't have to <clears throat> be the most in this. I don't have to. I can learn what's necessary through day and night but I don't have to be the most, as they would call it, the most alpha dude who has all the chicks around him. I don't have to be this fucking thing that they're making me feel like I have to be. I don't have to be that. What feels real to me is to really lead with who I am. And I'm not talking about lead with, excuse me, I just saw you from over there and I think you're beautiful. Not that. I'm talking about lead with what feels natural to me in the moment when I see her. and go, all right, I want this type of lifestyle. It feels weird to me that I'm not out there having sex with women every single night, but I feel like I don't have to do that. What I truly want is I want to be dating a multiple women. That multiple women doesn't have to be a certain number. It's just to the point where I feel like I am satisfied. That may be two, three, four, five. It may be any of those. But whatever feels like I am satisfied, whatever number feels like it's satisfying to me, it does. This, is the, this was the way that I started to go. I went, I'm gonna have the courage to go. That is what's projected as what's needed, but that's not what's needed. Specifically man to man, he will go, you know what? I want to have sex with this amount of women. I want to have five women in my life because I want to see what that's like. I want to have three women who are, that I'm seeing three, uh, during the week. That's what I want to have. It needs to be specific to you. So I bring you to my track of what I had. If I give you from the year 2014, it start off like this. In 2014, I just said to myself, I want to have as many sexual experiences that I can. And I went out in the year 2014 and, you know, for the first three months, actually coming here to Europe, because this is when I uh, came over to meet James. In the first three months, I actually didn't have sex with anybody. And I was a very, very confused and frustrated like why is it not happening it was happening before this but why is it not happening now and it, and in that time where i didn't have sex with anybody it, i was learning the way of like how to stop speaking fast to people in europe they was like she's like you're speaking too fast i was always hearing that or i had to see like how to adjust to this culture And I was having dates and they weren't going anywhere. Of course, I was kissing girls and doing all these things, but I didn't have sex with anybody. I didn't have any lifestyle going for me. The only thing that I knew is that I was going to go out and I was going to continue doing this. 
Right now, it seems really tough. Oh, fuck, I can hear the girl moaning from James' room again. Me feeling frustrated by why, why isn't this happening for me? And just going, you know what? I'm just gonna continue because I know that I want a lifestyle of having multiple women and this is just a down period for me. And in this down period, I know that there's things to learn. There are. I'm learning many things in this down period that's going to prepare me. So the first three months, I didn't, nothing happened, but then the rest of the summer, it exploded. And I had experience after this experience, and I had a girl fly to Barcelona to see me, and uh, she became my regular lover, and I, was, I, had, I had a girl I slept with in, 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 in Belgrade, and it was just, I was just going around, and it was happening for me. And then I went to New York City, and it was happening in New York City. And that ended the year for me. I was wanting just as much a sexual experience as I could, as much as I could. Then coming into the year 2015, because I had the courage to really go for it, I went, what I really want coming into this new year is I want to have meaningful open relationships. That's what I want to have. And now, just to let you know, I don't say open relationships, but at the time I was saying that because that's what I was conditioned to believe that that was the thing that if it wasn't closed, then it was just like an open thing and you need to have rules. But now I never say open relationship because we can get, in, get into that another time or you can <clears throat> ask me. But I wanted meaningful open relationships in every city that I travel to. So I wanted Prague, I wanted Budapest, I wanted Belgrade, I wanted New York City, and I wanted back home. And going through that track, every single time I landed in a new city, it happened. Prague was the only one where it didn't happen because I rarely went there. But the main ones that I went to, it happened. And I was feeling like, is this... Even, even then, I was like, is this right? Should I be going for, you know, more girls? Or should I be going for trying to, you know, take more girls home or this? And I was like, no, that's not what I want. What I want is I do want meaningful open relationships. Things where I can actually have a lover long term. That I can spend time with her. That I can figure out what she's like. That I can find out more about myself in relation to women than always having to jump from girl to girl. There's a beauty in having woman to woman, it is. There's a beauty in that because I went through that. I'm not here to tell you that that's not something to go through. Because remember, I just wanted as much sexual experience as I could at some point. But I wasn't, I wasn't caught up, well actually I was. At the, in the beginning I was caught up in believing that it was the pinnacle. That this was just the way, just continue doing this. And of course that faded into something else. But bringing us back to 2015, I was just like, I want meaningful open relationships and it happened. And I was incredibly happy that whole year because I was willing to be courageous enough to flow with what I feel is true for me. Then 2016 came. And I remember when 2015 was ending, I just went, coming into this new year, I'm really learning about openness. I am. And the fact that I'm learning so much about openness and, you know, for myself and in relation to women, I want 2016 to be a year of just openness. And being open to me and the way I express myself to women. Because I uniquely express myself very differently than any other man, just like you do. So I went, all right, I'm going to just express myself in a way that I feel to be the most true. But that wasn't the goal for 2016. That was one of them. The real goal, the, or to speak, the, the practical goal, the outer goal was I want to have sex with one woman a week. That's what I want. I want to have sex with one woman a week, but what I feel is, and I don't know why, what I feel is is that around six months in, I'm going to meet a woman who's going to rock my world. And I set off with that. And it was funny because... On the first, I slept with somebody. That very next week, I slept with someone. Then it started to roll on. And I was like, I know to keep this momentum, I have to continue to go out. I do. Because I'm not going to just meet girls and just sleep with them. I'm going to only have sex with girls who I like. Because honestly, if I would tell you this, if I was just going for as many girls as I can, then I would have had sex with a lot of fucking girls that, that year. I really would have. But I was just going, I want to just go for the women who I like. 
and that like me back. That's all I'm going for. So if that means that in a week I only get one date and I have sex with one girl, that's fine. But I'm only going to go for girls who I like. So I would go out because I was going out day and night. The whole time I was going out day and night. I would go out and I would be meeting certain girls and I'm like, I don't want to see her again. I don't. I don't like her. I'm not going to get her a number. And, I would, and it was crazy because one girl, at the end of talking, she's like, okay, well, you know what? I can just give you my number. Then I was just like, well, it was nice meeting you. She's like, all right, um, I can give you my number. I was just like, it was nice meeting you. She's like, I get it. And then she walked off. Because I was not willing to meet somebody who I didn't like. Even though somebody else would have been like, how come you didn't go for her? She's cute. She's uh, young. How come you didn't go for her? You could have had a, a sexual experience with her. She was a yes girl. I didn't care about her being a yes woman. I didn't care about that. I wanted to meet women who I liked. Long behold, each week I'm having sex with one new girl. I am. Because this is what I wanted. I was like, this is what I want and this is what I feel I can get. And this is what is going to make me the most satisfied at this point in my life. Then, at about June, in about June, it was like 20-some weeks in, and I had already had sex with 20-some girls. And lo and behold, I met the lovely woman that you guys see in my videos. The woman I say I share love with. I met her. And this is the woman who I was saying... And I didn't know who it was going to be. I was like, somebody's going to rock my world later on in this year. And I don't know why, but someone will. I don't know who it's going to be. And I was so curious. I was like, I wonder which woman is it going to be? Because I had women I was seeing at the time. And I was like, I wonder, is it her? I wonder, is it her? And then me and her, we met. And a long story short, that wound up being the woman who I share love with now. And I let go of every single woman that I was speaking to. Every single one. It naturally happened. It was a point that me and her had right after she visited me in Bar Barcelona. There was a point that me and her had where I said that I was going to give her most of my time. I was. And it was the truth. And I did that. And then at that time while I was giving her most of my time, yes, I was still sleeping with other women, but my interest towards them started to fade and I didn't know why I started to go okay is my libido going down is that right libido libido guys have a libido too right yeah I was like I was like okay is my libido going down I'm sorry guys I didn't know that okay because I always hear it in relation to women is my libido going down is there something wrong with me why am I not interested in you know approaching somebody I'm here in Barcelona I've been waiting for this I'm not interested in, in, in approaching anybody why not I thought it was something wrong I really did I was walking around the state of I don't want to approach anybody am I becoming attached to her I don't even know and I start to freak out and it wasn't that it was just the naturalness of where I was going I started to want something different and I was so going with you know the thing of meeting one girl a week that I was missing out on the fact that I was naturally shifting into wanting one woman. I was missing out on that. So I relaxed at some point and I just went, I can feel what's happening. I can feel that I just want one woman and this is the route I'm gonna go. Right now, I have to let you know, I have the choice to sleep with someone else. I do, just as she does. But I do not want that. I only want her. This is, there's nothing wrong with this. Because guys try to make it seem like the pinnacle is to have one woman and to be sleeping with other women. Or to have multiple women. Or to have this or to have that. No, the pinnacle is whatever you feel to be true in the moment right now. For you. If you want to have sex with multiple women, then go that route. If you want to have one woman and multiple women, go that route. If you only want one woman, then go that route. It must be realistic, and I will say, make it in a way where it's able to help you grow. If you've only been with women in your life in long relationships, yes, experiment with, experiment with many different types of women. Yes, go out there and fuck as many women as you want and experiment. 
See what you like. See what else is out there. See what every single type of woman can bring out of you. Because that's the beauty in having multiple women is that every single woman can bring something new out of you. Or teach you something new. If you're somebody who's in seduction right now and you've been having sex with a lot of women, your next stage of growth is not going to be continuously having sex with a lot of women. It's going to be simmering down because you can only sustain that for so long. Your next phase of growth as a man is going to be with maybe just having an open relationship and having other girls. And if you're in an open relationship, which I don't like saying, but if you're in an open relationship and you feel like that's what you want to keep, then you keep that. If you're in an open relationship and you're like, you know what, me and this girl, we could go deeper, but I just don't want to give up having other women, you're probably attached to the fact of having a lot of women. So see what it's like to, to be with one woman. And I have to tell you that it's only just for right now. Never say that this is the way it's going to be forever. Only say this is what's true for me right now. Because what's true for me right now is I only want to be with her. I only do. That's, that's true. But at some point, it could change. It could. I could be like, no, I don't want her anymore. I don't want to share this space with her anymore. And I want to go out there and I want to start experimenting again in another way. I will stay open to what's true for me, always. But right now, and what feels very true is that I just want her. So I'm sorry if you thought that the women I was approaching on the street, I was sleeping with them. I'm absolutely not. Nope. I don't want to. I could. Many of them I could, absolutely. But I don't want to. Be courageous enough to go for the lifestyle that you want. You must be courageous enough. If you really want to be happy, truly, it takes courage. Because some guys may be like, why are you getting into a relationship? Or, man, fuck, man, you should just really, that girl, man, you should, have, you should go for her. And you're like, well, I don't want her. I have a woman in my life. And you're like, man, you're getting needy. It's not about getting needy. It's about continuing on with what's true for you right now in your life. And whatever that is for you, you will, it will happen faster than you think. It will. Whatever lifestyle you want, truly, in your heart, like truly, 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 it will happen faster than you think because you're not rolling with the energy of your mind. You're not rolling with, you know what, I think I want this. You're rolling with what you truly want. When you truly roll with it, you don't run out of steam for it. You have endless motivation. You are aligned. That's what alignment means. I want this in my life. It wasn't hard for me to go out day and night. Yes, it had difficulties because I wasn't used to it energetically, like, oh, fuck, I'm really tired. But it was very easy for me to go out day and night. Very, very easy. And guys are like, man, Joe, that's grinding. I'm like, no, it's not about the grind. It's about being aligned. Align with it and it will happen faster than you think. It will. Because when you truly want it, it wants you. you whatever you want, wants you. And what you need to do is just close the gap. Sometimes that gap is what you think you want. But when you truly want something truly mean like you're working from the heart it moves to you as you move toward it it's like it pulls you in a way there's a merging that happens a easeful merging that happens you can have whatever lifestyle you want you just must be courageous enough to go for it and when you do it will happen faster than you think thank you for tuning in to me a lovely lovely video where I was able to talk to you about Building a lifestyle that you want based on what's true for you. I want you to subscribe because this is the way you're going to be able to follow me. This video or whatever video in the future that I put out. Share. I almost said subscribe again. Share with anybody who you feel is going to help. I'm getting cold. And I have a free Meet the Bedroom series. 
Let's say you're somebody, you're like, you know what? I want to go out there and I want this and I want that and I want this. Well, let this series help you. This free Meet to Bear Room series where it's teaching you everything from what to do before the approach, the approach all the way to, to how to get her upstairs. Click the link below in the description box. It'll take you right there. Put in your email and you'll be able to watch all three parts. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.